I studied carpentry and joinery in the Dumbles Road campus. Um, I did that for a year and I knew it wasn't for me. Um, and then I did Pathways to Apprenticeships in IT um, in Level 2. Um, and I did that and it was great but it just wasn't for me still. And um, I found design as a hobby it was more interested in IT and carpentry. So I applied for Extended Diploma um, and I did the IT credit last year. And now this year I'm studying the Extended Diploma. The first project was prop design, um, and then the next was set design. Um, then there was an enterprise with Welshback, which was an entrepreneurial um, project. And then the final one was product design. But um, with the prop design, it was um, Da Vinci's Demons, which was the main theme. So you had to design for a character and a prop. Um, and then for the set design was the Royal Opera House competition. Um, you were given a, um, a project, which was the Madden Butterfly Opera and you had to have a director's vision to design for that specific um, director and they would give you a brief and you know it was either modern or it was contemporary or it was the old version um, and we did that and we, got, we were picked, the top three were picked um, and I was one of them and then uh, the Royal Opera House judged on you know who they thought you know was good enough to go to London to have their work displayed in the actual Royal Opera House and I was picked you know so we went down um, to London in March um, and it was just great, we got to see the actual opera and um, we sat down and watched that and then my work was displayed along with tw 12 I think, 12 other students from the whole of the United Kingdom just to see your set, you know, your design work displayed in London um, in the Covent Garden which was amazing. So it gave me a lot of confidence when I got to London, you know, because I actually felt, you know, there was something design wise I was good at um, and along with the Welsh back we're going through now um, we're you know, studying um, personal social skills and stuff like that and it's boosting our confidence and to know that we can make it in a design um, job. Um, but the Royal Opera House was mainly the, the offer of Welsh back and the work experience we had that um, was good, yeah. Con constructive criticism is the biggest thing that they'll give. They won't, you know, make fun of it. They won't say that's wrong and do it again, you know. They'll give you that um, feedback, they'll give you offers and to say this is what you have to do to make it better and improvements a lot um, but especially with the Royal Opera House you know it was so important as you know work experience as well you know this is what it can be like in the real world when you have to design something with a brief you know um, and I think that's the biggest thing they were um, on about where they have to say you do this right and you know when you do it wrong it's fine but you know this is an actual competition this is real stuff now so um, constructive feedback was the biggest thing. I'm looking at the University of South Wales mostly, the atrium, see what they offer. So I'm, I'm looking mostly at set design for now. But you know, I can move on, you know, architecture, you know, um, computer graphics a lot, I'm enjoying that. But I think right now set design from the overall Opera House, you know, the feedback I had, I had from there, um, I really enjoyed that and I found something different other than architecture that I enjoyed. So I'm focusing on set design yeah, as a career right now. My younger brother already wants to do the same course as me. I, I attended Cardiff College and I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I just chucked myself into a course. But with 3D design, it's very creative. You know, when it is a team, you know, especially the class, we band together. And, you know, when we've done something wrong, we don't, sometimes we don't go to the teacher, we go to each other. And we, you know, sort out these, this work. And today there's kids, you know, in the class, they're getting other people to do the work and they're doing their work just to get some ideas. But um, especially with the new building now, the, the, um, what's, off, what's on offer for design students is amazing from you know, Max to Cinema 4D to all these rooms. You know. um, but for 3D design wise, the, the projects, um, they span out from you know, prop to set to product to furniture to architecture and it, it opens your mind to other um, roads you can go down. Um, but you know, it doesn't matter if you can't draw that well. You know, if you've got computer skills like me, you, you can come onto the course. It doesn't matter if you've got great computer skills and you can't draw, or you've got good drawing skills but you haven't got computer skills. You can learn, you can progress, especially for the first year you progress, and then the second year you progress further. So design-wise, you know, 3D design, the perfect course, the perfect creative course 